I wonder if I'll ever be able to start this game without it crashing three times before I get to that point. <laughs> uh, we're getting into reflection this time. It's impossible to outrun your own reflection. Um, are you sure? Hmm. Anyways. Oh, cool. We're still... I know. Let's stand out over the overhang. That's a great idea. This is totally going to fall beneath us. It looks like it's held together by ice. Yo, you're awake! And you... Um... Sheesh. Whatever. Yeah, about the... Wait. Oh, yep. It's all coming back to me. On Boomerang! It's all coming back to you. Shout out to the fact that they put shows that run all day on Cartoon Network on Boomerang now. Oh, cool, I get to have a choice in here. What's really going on here? Hmm. It ain't an old mountain. That's whack. I swear I dreamt it. Well, you think the mountain made it real? Yeah, sure, why not? Hmm. Wacky stuff. Well, we had to. We had to go through the temple anyways. <laughs> you know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe myself. But hey, at least now I can make a handy dandy where the sidewalk ends reference with us hanging out over this obviously unstable overpass that is 100% going to break beneath us. So much for going up the mountain, eh? Seems like a good answer. Yeah, you were pretty useless. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I guess we gotta go for the whole the time, huh? Tell me about it. You good, pal? Yeah, I'm Coolio. Alright. Seriously, you barely know me. Oh, really? That's kind of wacky. What's she like? Um... <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, well. She's a musician. Nice. Oh, well, that... That doesn't... <sighs> Civil rights lawyer. Buddha Thunker. I'm hoping y'all can all read as quick as I can because I'm looking to get into platforming. Is this is is this the whole episode? <laughs> what do you think about the temple? <laughs> I wanted to have a Shell Silverstein reference. That was Shell Silverstein, right? Where the sidewalk ends? I'm gonna have to look that up later. I can't do it now. My phone's charging and I don't have access to the like browsing part of the computer because I don't want the game to crash. Yeah, probably. You ran into her too? What's her deal? She's a crazy old lady. That's about it. Okay. This is a game of Sam and Max. Hit the road. That's what I'm saying. Hit the road. Anyways. For whatever reason, I've been getting recommended just random clips of uh, some Sam and Max animated thing on YouTube, and I saw one that was pretty funny, that was like, uh, freaking Sam was like, oh, little buddy, you kill me, and then Max said something like, only if they take us alive, Sam. <laughs> uh, pretty funny stuff. Yeah, it just reminds me of that time in the, the Looney Tunes show that Bugs got kidnapped by, like, terrorists and Daffy Duck joined the freaking army and came and picked him up in a chopper or something anyways 
I just realized that they had a lot of like join the military in cartoons in the tens, which was wacky. I guess we were going to war at that time, but like they did it, they did it in Scooby Doo. <laughs> Like, between Season 1 and Season 2 of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, like, Shaggy Rogers just gets shipped out the war. <laughs> I want to say the entrance, his entrance to Season 2 is like he blows something up with a tank or something. <laughs> I haven't been paying to this, attention to this dialogue at all. Oh, whack. How do you go with anything? I drink. you drink? Oh. Uh, yeah, you should get some sleep. Please, can we be done with this? Ah! Yeah, sorry, I'm really tired. You know what? I want to remember this event. Let's take a ah. Thought you'd never ask. Watch now that he was the one holding the holding the phone. Though, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Inconsistency in the game. Wait a second. Yeah, okay. And now we're gonna fall to our deaths at the end of the sidewalk. Yep. As the heat melts all the ice holding together this rickety bridge. What? You're telling me I can't go over there? Kinda sad. Bruh, bruh, Wonder Wing, Wonder Wing, Wonder Wing. Oh, that's wacky. This is pretty wacky. So anyway, here's Wonderwall. At least I'm not playing like Doodle Jump or something. One of those ones where it actually depends on whether or not you uh, get something else. This is a wacky dream sequence. Oh. The Northern Lights. No, mother, it's just the Northern Lights. Where are we? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This is seriously just a dialogue episode. Uh, you're not my true reflection. Ain't she though? Oh, okay then. Okay then, why would you say that? No, it's okay. <laughs> just in- <laughs> Jeez. You're setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. Um... That's not really how it works at all. No, yeah. Did it leave me? No. Yeah, character flaws are relatively important for people to have. That's just kind of how it works. Calm down, man. Calm down. No, that's not how it works at all. That just ain't how it work, buddy. Okay. You can't get rid of some things. You just have to, like, figure it out. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy, there goes the feather. Now, I guess this is some kind of metaphor to for depression or something, but this idea that people are... I don't know. I'm not gonna say that there's some idea that people are inherently flawless, I suppose. I don't think that that's really what we're going for. But, uh... I don't know. Hey, didn't those things kill me just like last time? <laughs> Come on, man. At least be consistent. I'm seriously just... There we go, now I'm alive. Okay, well... We can swim now. I wonder if I can swim forever, probably. 
Oh, hey, a save point. <laughs> Sounds like next episode of Celeste. <laughs> I don't know. I think, um, I'm hoping this game ends in just general acceptance, because, uh, I do have a, a something of an issue with how... Oh! Well. People kind of take the whole, um, don't need no laws crap. I don't know. It seems to go that way. I don't really get it. Like, I have a lot of crap that I, that I friggin' screw up on. That uh, doesn't mean... Well, it means something, but it doesn't mean so much. I guess what I do here... Whatever, I'll... Ooh! Wow, that was actually it? Okay. Well, on the next episode of Celeste, we're gonna figure all this crap out. And maybe Madeline will learn to accept her, her her faults as her own and take responsibility for the ways in which she has she's done wrong in the world. Ha! <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. Anyways, I figure that's where this is going, seeing as what just occurred didn't work. But, you know, I don't have the most um, faith in a lot of things right now. Maybe. Who can say? But what I can say is that you should like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'll, um, lace my bloody tendrils into your flesh and drag you into the pits of hell. <laughs> uh, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.